I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please Lord give me a sign A sign Hey guys, so I got into it today with a human archaeologist, or I don't know if they were human archaeologists, or they said they study human studied anyway human evolution and stuff like that. Not really into it, like arguing back and forth, back and forth, trying to trying to outwin one another, but it was kind of like here's the thing that irks me, okay? Without even giving it any thought, she goes. Carnivores, I view the same as vegans. Very damaging and, and unnecessary. But then in the same sentence, she has the wherewithal to say, but if it works for you, fine. <laughs> okay. Um, I wanted to freaking... You studied human evolution. Where did it say carnivorous humans got more sick? Where is the evidence to support that the carnivore diet is damaging? Where? Do you realize that humans engaged in inbreeding? I'm sure as, an, as someone who studied evolution, you would have known that, right? Or anyway, and and these these, I'm not gonna disagree with the fact that we were we we were omnivores even back then. But and I even said that to her. I'm not gonna disagree with that. I don't disagree with that at all. We were. We ate plants when we could. The thing is, think about when it's icy. And there's snow everywhere. How would we eat plants? Where would we get plants? Do you think that do you think that the, the Inuit are constantly, constantly digging around for plants? No. No. <laughs> I'm sure if they had it, okay, assuming the Inuit were still living, because I know a lot of them are exposed to the Western diet now. But assuming there's still some left that live the traditional lifestyle and eat the traditional diet. Uh, Think about this. It's below freezing. Zero Celsius. Below freezing. Okay? It gets very, very cold out there. Way below zero Celsius. Okay? So, think about this. Where on earth are they going to find a plant to eat? Yeah, but they eat whale blubber and seal and, and stuff. So, it's all the same. Meat is meat and, and, you know, meat is meat is meat is meat. Fish is meat. Blubber is fat, right? So is tallow. So is soot. Suet, rather. Suet. So is, um, so is, uh, lard. Your point? But they also ate the skins. We traditionally did eat skin. We didn't let anything go to waste. Mm-hmm. We ate the livers. We ate the fat. We ate the organs. Skin. Uh, broke the bones. We did it all. What's your point? I'm saying that... We are facultative carnivores. We wouldn't give it the time of day to just try and dig around for food, is my point. We, we were eating meat, and primarily meat. It, 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 it goes without saying. I don't get these people. Well, I'm, I studied... What I don't like about a lot of people is, well, I studied evolution, so I know what what people did. What I base my, my, when I say I 
I did this, that, and the other, so I know. Usually what that needs to to have in mixed in there is like you need to have experienced it for yourself. If you're just gonna blatantly say, oh, I study this so I know. Look, I don't even know if I'd give Michael Leeds enough credit, but he he studies in depth, right? If there's a difference. If you're studying in depth science, like if you're really going in deep, really, really studying hard and really looking into it, really, really, really hard, hardcore, then yeah, okay, I'll believe you. But if you just studied it to kind of like get the basics and like, no, I don't, I don't trust you. I don't have any, I'm not going to take your, your word for it. You, you don't deserve the time and day. I, 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 I'm sorry, but I don't, just because you studied something doesn't mean it's, you know. Also, what I want to, what I want to say too is, um, I know from my own experience and I know based on what other people have said, that's how I know, right? That's also the best, one of the best ways to, to gauge whether someone is, telling truth or not. You can't just blatantly say, oh, I studied this and this is my, my background. So I know what I'm doing. But have, how deeply have you studied it? Doctors are like, doctors do the same thing. Oh, I study the human body though. And I know like the science of everything and how it all works and stuff. So I know what I'm doing. Do you? Do you? You're in a medical practice. Do you realize that some of the medications you you prescribe to people have deadly consequences? Deadly, deadly, deadly. Do you know that? And yet you still continue to uh, prescribe? Then that's malpractice. Checkmate. You, you You have no business working as a doctor knowing that. And that yet, yet you continue to, to prescribe those medications. Come on. Come on. Oh, I know because I studied this. I know because I studied that. I'm not going to... Look. I... I know things based on experience and from what other people have said. I think that, that that's more reliable. I really do. But it's just anecdotal. So is your claim. Your claim is anecdotal too. Like so many people have benefited from this and that and the other. And and where the heck does it say carnivore is damaging in the human um, evolutionary tree? Where does it say that? Where do we see that? Where do we see damage from carnivore? Where do we see it? Do you know where that is? Because I, I, I have yet to figure that out. Show me where the damage from carnivore is. In the human evolutionary tree? Where, where did it cause damage? Again, like I said, every human specimen that we found that was damaged, every time I look into this, it was from inbreeding. They had deformities from inbreeding. When they studied and analyzed the DNA more thoroughly, they discovered it was, you know... So where in the evolutionary tree was carnivore damaging? Carnivore does not do that. Carnivore does not do that. It creates very strong, healthy kids. And very polite kids, too. Oh, my goodness. Beautiful kids. Beautiful, beautiful kids. Polite, smart. Certainly ahead of my time. When I was eight years old, I definitely wasn't holding things for my parents, helping them with, with stuff, right? Like, like if my, my mom, if, if my mom ever said, here, can you hold this? I definitely wouldn't have been doing that. I wouldn't have been nice enough to. I was too much of a mean kid back then. <laughs> These carnivore kids, like as young as eight years old, the father comes along, hey, can you help me with this? Can you, can you just hold this, please? Yeah, sure. And they do it. And then, thank you. You're welcome. These cute little kids, I love it. Carnivore is the only diet that has been proven to do that. They're so cute, these little kids. 
Love them. I don't see any, I don't even see vegan kids doing that. Carnivore beats vegan any day. Car- you can't lump carnivore into the same category as veganism. Uh, come on. Carnivores. <laughs> you don't see a carnivore lying on their bed going, uh, hey guys, so today I thought I would do what I eat in a day, but I didn't want to get up today because it's just been so hard and I'm so tired. I don't even know why. I slept really, really good. In fact, I slept 15 hours. <laughs> if anything, carnivores are like, I only slept six hours. I'm bright eyed and bushy tailed. Woo! Let's do this thing, y'all. Let's get, let's get some food into us. Let's start the day with some eggs and bacon. Right? <laughs> like, carnivores, carnivores are the last ones you should be, you should, you, the, the, the moment people start lumping carnivores with veganism, I lose all hope, <laughs> for, for, look, I always direct people to Michael Eads, Michael Eads discovered that the further north we went, the more carnivore we were, I'd believe it, I would believe it, now, back when I was still eating the standard diet, what I also believed was that, oh, but that was only because we were, um, it, was an, it was an availability thing. Now that we have more access to plants, we don't need to worry about that. So we can eat the plants much more uh, frequently now. I don't believe that anymore. I believe that in order to prevent metabolic damage, we need to be eating carnivore long term. Most of the diet should be carnivore with like, if you want to include plants, include a little bit. Don't go crazy with them. If you feel like you, you want a little bit of something, have a little veg or something, right? I'm not saying to not eat plants. I don't agree with Chafee completely on plants are trying to kill you because it depends on the type of plant you're eating. Even the wild fruits, I think some of the wild fruits you can, you can eat. It's just, we were never taught. Look, and look, think about this too. If, if a natural disaster was to happen where, the, let's say a huge solar flare occurred, how the heck are we going to take care of ourselves? Because that solar flare could cause the entire grid around the world to go out. It would shake the earth. What are we going to do when that happens? What are we going to do? No more social media. No more TikTok for those little... Um, for those little... Uh, what do you call it? Little minions that run it. And the... the, the um, little messengers that like to spew hatred and crap on there. Yeah, so there's gonna be no more TikTok when the power grid goes down, huh? What's gonna happen? How are we gonna fend for ourselves? What are we gonna eat? What are we gonna drink? What are we gonna do? Because we'll have no water, because the pumps won't work, we'll have no cell service, we won't be able to just call somebody. How are we gonna eat? How are we gonna even live? We weren't taught how to live anymore. That really scares me, people. That scares me. The fact that we now no longer have the ability to just live off of, you know, I'm scared. I'm scared. Okay? I'm freaking scared. People are out here complaining about, oh, this is damaging, that's damaging, and you're hurting people by doing this, and you're hurting, you're hurting your, your, your family and blah, 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 and doing all this and doing all that, blah, 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 all kinds of crap, being racially just horrible, being um, just disrespectful to people who have a differing, who have differences in opinion. I can't, I can't, I can't. Because we got bigger things to think about. <coughs> My point in all this was, though, that humans 
were carnivores um, primarily, especially I think the further north you go. And even Asians, Asians seem to do a lot better eating more meat than less. A lot of them do. They seem to. I've seen it. I've seen it because I find the people who eat more meat, they're a lot more, you know, um, happy. They don't get mad at you so easily. Right? Anyways. These people, man. I'm I'm done with, with craziness. I'm done with it. I'm done with it. I, I can't do it anymore. I'm thinking I might completely change my channel around a little bit. I got a new... I, I purchased an Apple Watch, a new one. I have one already, but this one, I want to see what this, this, this new one's going to be like. And if it's good, I might, um, I might actually revert to that one and see about trying to get this other one traded in. I don't know how I'm going to do it because it's online. I wasn't able to, I wasn't able to, why is that talking? I wasn't able to trade it trade it in like when I tried to trade it trade it in um it wouldn't go so I had to just do it normally like pay the full price and remove the trade in part of it so I don't know how the heck I'm going to what I'm going to do with this this other watch um I want to see what it's like um but yeah uh I'm thinking I might do the unboxing on my channel just to take a break from all the crazy. But anyways, I might even enable the comments on that one entirely. Guys, just because somebody says, I studied this and I studied that, so I know. I know. I'm not even claiming to know everything about what I've studied in school. I'm not even going to claim that. I'm not. Right? If you say I've studied in depth, that's a whole other thing. I look deep within the evolutionary tree. I know through looking deeply, very, very deeply into it. Right? I don't know. But anyway. Because if you look really, really, really extra deep into it, Look at the digestive tract of the human body. It's, anyway. Anyway. Um, yeah. I, um. Excuse me. I'm going to move this to my other computer now. And I will see you all in the next one.